in August 2018, I travelled from the Netherlands to Australia with my immediate family to be tourists, but also to visit relatives. As tourists we made a beautiful train ride and sky ride. The family was visited in the outback as well as in some cities. Naturally, we saw the local wildlife. And I even cycled a bit. We ended on the Sydney beaches, where we watched someone cycling. Saw the surface and the sights. The tour ended with my presentation for the city of Sydney. A city that asked itself, can we go Dutch? I argued you can indeed learn a lot from the Dutch, like how we design our suburbs with separate cycle networks that take people to meaningful destinations away from traffic because it connects to the ends of cul-de-sacs, crossing other traffic in underpasses and overpasses. These paths give access to city parks and children's playgrounds and schools. And there are facilities for walking. Wouldn't it be nice to have that in Australia as well? A separated cycleway in a suburb that takes people to a meaningful destination, such as a station. Away from traffic, because it connects to the ends of cul-de-sacs. A cycleway that crosses other traffic in underpasses and overpasses, offering access to a city park, and children's playgrounds, and with good facilities for pedestrians. Such examples do already exist in Australia. This is in Joondalup, near Perth and this dates from the 1980s, just like its Dutch counterpart. Australia already knows how to build a good indoor bicycle parking facility as well. This is in the government building of Queensland. The huge basement offers employees a perfect place to park their bicycles, and it attracts all kinds of cycling. Also the upright Dutch version. It is beautiful to see children's seats and shopping baskets. It has great end-of-trip facilities, even showers that you won't find in a Dutch example. There are already examples of what is brand new in the Netherlands. The Cycle Street or Safe Active Street. From a Dutch perspective there are some remarks to make. The Dutch version looks optically narrower which helps get speeds down. But my point is, anything you can find in the Netherlands is already present in Australia in some form. Australia does not need to go Dutch. It needs to build more of that good infrastructure. Sure, the Dutch can, and maybe should, help get the details right. But to persuade local governments, it may be easier to point to Australian examples. Luckily, these good Australian examples do exist. Even the new cycle plan of Sydney gets the top priority right. You need a cycle network. So can Sydney go Dutch? It is already beyond that point. Make sure the good plans materialize. That is the challenge.